inside. And that will live on, vibrate, and produce sound, harmonic sound. And that is extremely expensive speaker. But now you can make it. Yeah. Why not? You know the principle? You know the physics behind of it? And you are a mechanical engineer, so you, you can make anything you imagine. Mechanical engineer means that anything, you can make anything you imagine. Isn't it a beautiful job? Yeah. Okay. But for this strange shape case, this governing equation is not like this. The governing equation has to be the coordinate which I'm going to use is R and theta. Therefore, the this part look quite different with what we used over here. Have you ever heard about the Besser function? And you love it, right? No. <laughs> Besser function of first kind, Besser function of second kind. Okay. If you if you if you use the R theta coordinate and then apply the boundary condition, then you can find that the solution would satisfy by using Besser function. And then what you have to do? You have to look at your famous Basketball, right? Or you have to work with the MATLAB. What? What I what I what I highlighted about the behavior of a Bessel function is that the natural frequency, corresponding natural frequency, is no longer the harmonic. In other words. The second natural frequency is not the twice of the first natural frequency. Okay? So I talk to you many things in one blackboard. <laughs> many things in one blackboard. Alright? But at least you understood the basic mathematics behind of this and the basic physics behind of the six and the basic philosophy. What, 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 what philosophy I used for, for teaching this, 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 this vibration? Always go back to the simplest case. Right? And I uh, introduced the vibration of membrane. I back to the vibration of string. And then assure what we did and use the same method to solve the equation. Right? And what we found is this relation. And I will continue to talk about the vibration of membrane coming Tuesday. And then I will talk about vibration of beam on Tuesday. And then I will summarize what we learned on coming Thursday. And then you will be ready to have final, beautiful, exciting examination on next week. What day are you supposed to take a final examination? Tuesday? 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 Okay, the I will make the problem because at midterm examination, Professor Kwang Jun Kim made the uh, examination problem. So I will make the problem. Okay, I will look at the Professor Kwang Jun Kim's lecture notes. So I suggest to you to look at his lecture note. Because it's, it's very well organized and very beautiful. 
And if you miss the sum physical concept, and I ask you to see our lecture, video lecture in my talk. Okay. So uh, I hope you be well prepared for the final examination. The final examination comes from what you learned in the lecture. And reading assignment I gave you means that you have to read the book corresponding chapters. But do not read the detail which was not covered in the lecture. That's the tip. So what you have to do is you have to summarize what you learned in the lecture. And then look at the book again, which part I have to read, and read it, and then summarize. And then back to your homework. Okay. Homework is pretty much related to what we lectured. So, if you found that some homework problem you missed, then redo it. Okay. Then you are, not, you are now ready to get an A. No problem. So the problem will come from the lecture and the text and the homo. But it all comes from exactly the same. I mean, it come from the uh, those three sources. Then it's not easy to distinguish between highly motivated and uh, uh, hardworking students with with the uh, mediocre video call working students so I will make one problem to select who can get an A plus A zero. So one problem would be would need some thinking. Thinking. But the tip is principle of superposition. And start with the simplistic case. That's two powerful tool will will help you to solve that problem. I promise you. Okay. So, I gave you the tools and everything. And I wonder, I feel that the uh, old guys will get the 100 point in final examination. No problem. Then I will give you everybody a plus. So, if you if you have all students got an A plus, then I will buy you unlimited beer. <laughs> yeah, I lost. If you got everybody got a one hundred point, and I will buy you unlimited beer. Unlimited lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, another extreme case. The other extreme case is everybody got a zero. Then you guys buy me unlimited beer. <laughs> I hope you have some here in good place. I see you on Tuesday.